Will the junior maths challenge be easier in 2022? There's been a really significant rule change that means it probably will be. And in this video, I'll tell you exactly what's happened and I'll tell you why it might be slightly more likely you're going to get a good certificate this year than in previous years. Over the last year, I've also been working on lots of online courses to help you prepare. Most of them are free. Let me just show you a quick 30 second clip about those courses so you can see what's in them. And I really hope you will sign up below and use those to help you prepare. Get ready for maths challenges with my free online courses. Working through recent past papers, you can try the questions yourself. If you get stuck, look at the video hint enter the answer, see if you've got it right, and then watch the full video solution. It's a really great way to prepare for any of the maths challenges, so take a look now. So what's changed? Well, if you look on the UKMT's website on their Junior Maths Challenge page, you will see it says that we are awarding the top 50% of participants bronze, silver, and gold certificates in the ratio of three to two to one. Now, if you're not paying a, a lot of attention, you might not notice that this is slightly different to what it has been in previous years. In previous years, it was the top 40% of participants who got certificates in the ratio bronze to silver to gold. So, whereas in the past, approximately 7% would get gold, 13% would get silver, and 20% would get bronze, this year, it's going to be more like 8% getting gold, 17% getting silver, and roughly 25% getting bronze. So there should be more certificates available overall. So if you're taking the Junior Maths Challenge this year, you've got a better chance than ever of getting one of those certificates. Now, who knows? This might be counterbalanced by the fact that everyone has taken my free online course, Get Ready for the Junior Maths Challenge, to prepare. And everyone then is going to do a lot better because they'll be much more prepared for the Junior Maths Challenge. So we'll see if that balances out the scores or not. My guess is that the grade boundaries are going to be just slightly lower uh, this year for the different uh, competitions. I made another video where I go into a lot more detail about exactly uh, how well you needed to do in different years uh, to qualify. So have a look at that one uh, as well if you want to. And do go and take a look at that free online course to prepare for the Junior Maths Challenge if you're taking it this year or in any subsequent year. It's a really great way to just do a bit of practice, get your head in the right mindset for the Junior Maths Challenge. It's a different style of questions that you're asked there. So well worth just doing a few questions to practice before you sit the real thing. And the other thing that's changed over the last few years is that it looks like they're not going to penalise uh, wrong answers anymore. So uh, during the pandemic, they started this where it says uh, you'll not lose marks for getting any questions wrong. A few years ago, you used to use lose marks for getting questions wrong. Um, this year, uh, you should guess uh, every single question. Um, if you're doing this in subsequent years, double check that they haven't changed the rules back. Um, but uh, if there are no penalties for getting marks wrong, you absolutely should make a random guess of all of the questions that you haven't done. Uh, three marks available, uh, it's one in five chance that you get each one right. So if you're getting 10 questions, you'll probably get two uh, extra right on average, could be 10 or 12 extra marks, and that could push you over one of, one of the certificate boundaries. And everyone else will be doing that, so you should be doing that as well. So I really hope that was useful. Good luck if you're taking the Junior Maths Challenge this year or in any other year. Uh, do take a look at my free online courses to help you prepare. There's also loads of past papers available at the UKMT website uh, where you can get loads of practice and do some really interesting and fun problems. So I hope to see you in one of those courses or sometime soon here on YouTube. Please do like the video and subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment below if you've got any questions uh, or I also love to hear how people have done on the math challenges as well. So leave a comment if uh, you've done the challenge and you want to share your score too.